Welcome back, lovely bears. It's Mama Bear Chrissy back with another video. If you haven't already subscribed and became a lovely bear, you can do so right now. Hit that subscribe button. So today is a more serious vlog. I'm going to update you guys. I went ahead, used my husband's phone, and wrote everything down because it's a lot to take in. So let's go. So, if you follow me on my socials, you do know that we had an appointment with Aiden this week that we did blood work and we got bad news. And I want to keep in mind that when I go to these appointments, we see two doctors. If nothing is wrong, I will see a lady doctor. If a man walks in, which is our regular GI doctor, I know something is wrong. So when I saw him walk in, I knew something was terribly wrong. So before I even get into details, if you have not watched our birth story, you need to do so. I'll link it in the description box because I definitely recommend you watching it because you won't really understand until you watch it. It's like our whole history. You got some cold. So for the ones that have watched it know that Aiden had to get an anal emina and basically it's where they see if any fecal matter will come out and by the grace of God it did. However, his GI tract still wasn't where it needs to be. So we did a non FDA approved treatment. That means we did a treatment from way out of the country on Aiden. Legally, we had the doctor's permission, but it was still a risk, and we took that risk. Okay. Sorry, I'm cold. So, we did a non-FDA approved treatment. By the grace of God, that worked. Here we are, four years later, and we've been having problems with his liver enzymes. Your liver enzymes will never rise or go down if you do not have a genetic muscle mutation, liver failure, or liver problems. I want you guys to keep in mind that when your liver enzymes rise, they can be deadly. You can get a seizure, your body can shut down, or the worst of them all, you get liver failure and your organs shut off. The problem is every other month, Aiden's liver is okay. So that's letting the doctors know that something else is causing his liver enzymes to rise up and down, up and down, up and down. The doctor was very honest with me and told me that he is 98% sure that this is being caused by our son's genetic muscle disease. The main problem with that source is there is not another child alive right now that has this type of genetic muscle disease. It is like unknown. It's like one in a million. We've been to doctors in Houston. We've been to different hospitals of muscle genetic disease I always use this phrase if you watch MTV you know Leah has a daughter that's in a wheelchair she has a muscle disease that literally breaks down your body Aiden's has the exact opposite his body is constantly working out 24 7 he can't keep weight on him because his body is doing a 24 hour workout his doctors were very honest with me and told me that there could be a number of things that he would be checking for one of the number one things that he's checking for is cancer, liver failure, bumps on the liver, spots in the stomach, or any type of abnormalities in his stomach slash liver. Here's the problem. We've done this before and the liver was clear, but that doesn't mean that that's still good news because then that still leaves the question on, okay, then why are your enzymes rising? What's the, what was the reason? Like why, if there's nothing wrong with your liver, why are they rising? Now it has this really concern because whatever is causing this, it's not the liver itself. To make matters worse, all they are legally able to do is get an ultrasound done with the tech and we have to wait for the results via post-op appointment. So we won't find anything out until they call us in for an appointment. As a mom, it's heartbreaking because you just want your child to be okay and there's nothing really you can do. Like, you don't have any answers. So yeah, that's pretty much what we've been freaking out over. Like the cancer word scares me. Like, and even if he doesn't have anything, it's still not good news because it's like, okay then, what is going on inside of that little body of yours and what is causing your liver enzymes to be this high? You have to realize we're not just talking about like, oh, a 95. We're like talking about 485, 500s. Like that's high, like deadly level type high. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our ultrasound appointment visit and just bear with us because it was not a pretty sight. But if you have been supporting us, we appreciate you guys so, so much. We love you. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share, let people know, and please keep praying. We need all the prayers that we can get and we appreciate and love you guys so much. You have to come all the way over here and walk all the way to your doctor's appointment. Fucking sucks. It sucks. Like, fuck, dude. And then there's
there's like no spots anywhere. Usually, I'm that mom that comes two hours early, but I didn't have time because he was in school. So here we go. are here but some of them are at university so you'll see us here a lot so this is new Ooh, you want some chips you want chips Cheetos But we believe it's not coming from the liver. Exactly. We, we believe, believe it's coming from the muscle. Disease, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we are seeing him to be sure that it's not liver. But so far we don't have any evidence that it's mm -hmm. from the liver. Yeah. Oh, and that's the ultrasound? Okay, okay of the liver? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then follow up with Dr. Vitali in six months. It will be in August. So that was something the mother was for. Then um, this is for lab work. And usually he wants this done at least, I would say, a couple of weeks or a month right before his appointment. So wait. So wait right before. Mm -hmm. So uh, so this is when? Casey, it's 2 o'clock. We got here at 10.40 and I'm exhausted. He has got to get an ultrasound. He's got so much stuff going on. I just want to go home. So anytime I have a very stressful appointment or drive, I usually have my sister take me because my anxiety is too bad and if I get bad news, I know that I'll be too emotional to drive home. So that's what we're doing now.
got a donut. Daddy, hi.